So can you grow giant sunflowers in pots? Let's find out. What's up everybody? My name is Joshua and we are a bold follower here to share with you a mini series called Thou Shalt Garden. More on that later. Um, I've been gardening for a little while and I haven't gotten any questions, but if I did get a question, it might be something like this. Dear Joshua, I have an HOA that's terrible and doesn't let me plant in the ground. Can I grow giant sunflowers in containers just to spite my HOA? To which I would say, wow, that's an awfully specific question uh, to have and I'm sure there's an interesting story. Um, and the answer is yes. yes, you can grow giant sunflowers in containers like pots. And I'm gonna tell you exactly how to do that. Because I like height, I like to use a 30 gallon or bigger container and only grow one sunflower in each of them. A giant sunflower will grow to about eight to 10 feet in that container, which is really only about 75% to 90% as tall and as big as the ones that are in the ground on average. Now, yes, there are all those freaks that get super big, but on average, you can still grow a very large sunflower in those containers. Um, but if you don't care about size, you could use smaller pots. You could also put more than one in each pot. But if they're a um, bigger variety, I wouldn't do more than two or three. Honestly, that's even pushing it. The problem is sunflowers have a deep taproot system, searching for water four to 10 feet down into the ground. It's got a really big root system um, to keep it standing sturdy and tall and to reach all the nutrients. So without all that, if you're in pots, you're gonna need to make up for it. So you gotta use premium, soil with amendments like compost and you better stake it well or it will end up falling over oh and if you're in pots uh just a, an extra bonus question keep them away from kids because kids love dirt and in my experience the sunflowers and containers actually have advantages um, you can move them from one place to another and they are separated which actually keeps them protected so if one gets a disease you can remove it without affecting the group and not always, but sometimes it leads to being safer from the critters and the bugs, just simply because it's higher off the ground. So yes, I wouldn't grow sunflowers just to spite your HOA, but theoretically you could, question giver. So go and plant sunflowers to your heart's content.